Okay, let's take a look at empty words by Def, and this is in D standard. And we're gonna start with the clean guitar. And the first bar, we're gonna have those arpeggiated notes. Right? So the first uh, six notes should be easy. And then you're gonna come down here to the fifth fret on A and play the soft of shape. And then you're gonna slide up to the eighth fret, okay? So. And I'm pretty sure he is picking this shape uh, one more time uh, right before he slides to the eighth fret. But you don't have to do that. I mean, if you find it too complicated or something, I don't know. Uh, so uh, once you play the five and seven, you could hybrid pick the shape, right, with your uh, uh, pick and middle finger, and then quickly slide up to the eighth fret. So do like this, yeah, and the final notes. Uh, yeah, that should be quite obvious, hopefully. Right, and at the end of that bar we have two bits of a, of a break, well, silence, and then we enter the next kind of part of the intro, so we have bar number two and three repeated three times. And actually the final bar here is the same as with the one we just played. <coughs> uh, but then the second bar is different. Uh, goes like this, okay? and. Uh, Again, we're gonna start with those six subjugated notes, same as before. But then the octave shape that we're gonna use here is gonna be a seventh fret on, uh, yeah, on A, okay? So, and we're gonna slide up three frets to the tenth fret. And once you slide up there, you're also gonna hit tenth fret on A one more time. Well, we're gonna hit, not one more time, we're gonna hit it. Also, right, like so. And notice that uh, at the end of this bar, we have uh, three bits of silence, and then at the end of the next bar, we have two bits of silence. So you can count them in your head, you know, count the bits in your head so you know where to begin the next uh, bar. So if I play, uh, if I play it. It uh, a couple of times maybe, and I counted a bit slowly. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two. Up. <laughs> one, two, three. gonna start with the distorted guitar. Okay, so I hope you get uh, it's not too complicated and let's continue on to the next part. Okay, so you're gonna enter with the distorted guitar and uh, it's not too complicated thankfully now so it's gonna go like this. Okay, so that was the first time, and uh, note that in the last bar uh, we have harmonized lines, so you, you will not play, you're not gonna play both voices at the same time, right? They are split between two guitars, so pick either voice you want to play and you will play it, right? Um, and uh, yeah, and as for the second and the third lines, uh, the first three bars are exactly the same as in the first time, okay? So, Those are the same, and then uh, the endings are slightly different, right? So, so that's the ending of the second line, and the ending of the third line is this, okay? Uh, or this, depending on which voice you want to play. 
Um, okay, so that part not too complicated. Let's continue to come to the next part. And here we're gonna play this. And uh, yeah, and by the way, once we get here, we're gonna kind of lightly palm mute the notes that are being played, okay? So. Okay, so sorry for a little stopping there, but yeah. Okay, and you're gonna repeat uh, this first line twice, alright? And then in just, and by the way, uh, if you don't wanna play this melody here, or the one that follows in the second line, this. So it goes something like this, I think. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure, but anyway, uh, if you don't want to play those melodies, you can play the backing chords instead. So, uh, and you have them written out above the uh, first line, starting on the third bar with the B flat power chord, going to F power chord, and then C sharp power chord, so that's fourth fret on A, and then G sharp, fourth fret on E. Okay, so you play them instead of playing the melodies, if you want. Um, right, and yeah, that's a good line. I just played for you the melody, and uh, yeah, and the third line ends on those chords that I just mentioned. Yeah, and the final note there at the very, very end is the harmonic on, third, on fourth fret on E, right? So, um, and by the way, yeah, when it comes to this melody, I I think it's kind of tapping uh, on 24th fret uh, and then play so 15, 17, 19. And that's on the B string, and then he plays quickly the same thing but on on uh, the E string. And then he repeats the whole thing six times. Um, so, no, I don't have 24 fret, so I basically uh, I have to play Legato starting on 15th fret. Like this. Alright, so I think, yeah, I think it's something like this. It's, you know, it's not easy to hear everything that's being played at that speed, so. <laughs> uh, Alright, so that would be the, f uh, the second part of the, of the verse. And then we're gonna have the third verse, which goes like this. Okay, and you're gonna repeat it one more time. So. <clears throat> Yeah, I can play that a little slower, but it shouldn't be too complicated, so... Okay, so that's the first bar. And the second bar is the same, but you're gonna play the... And this pattern one fret lower, okay? So, starting on the third fret. Okay, and then bar number three and four are the same as one and two. And then in the second line, okay, and do this little bit of shamoni on the sixth fret on A. All right, so that's the third uh, verse. So yeah, however you want to call it, let's continue. So here in this pre-chorus part, you can have this. Yeah, and you're gonna play it one more time, so play this line twice. Uh, yeah, I don't have much to say about it, it should be straight, straightforward. And then uh, for the chorus part, the second line. Okay, 
so that would be the chorus and I played it twice but you should play it four times and um, yeah that, that's not too complicated either right so I'm gonna have this in the first bar followed by speed picking on E then I'm gonna have the next chord second bar four chords on E and then the perfect fifth shapes here Okay, so nothing too complicated, I hope. And finally, finally we're gonna have uh, the guitar solo backing riff. And so that, that's the first time here, and you're gonna play it four times, but I, I'm only gonna play it once here. So here it goes. One, two, three, four. And if I play it a bit slower, Yeah, so that would be it, yeah, I'm gonna play it four times. And um, for the melodic part that follows, and this is what the, you know, the other guitar is gonna play those little melodies that you probably are aware of. Uh, we're gonna play those backing chords here. We're gonna play A to E, and then F and G. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it one more time. And then, uh, uh, starting on the fifth bar in the second line, we're gonna play E, F, G, and F. And we're gonna play it three times, okay? Play that chord progression three times. And finally, at, uh, at the end of this first part of the song, so to speak, uh, in the third line, we're gonna play the same thing, but we're gonna, you know, cut short on the F power chord at the very end, so... Right? Right, yeah, then we're gonna go back to the second slide that we had before and uh, repeat the whole song un until uh, the chorus, including the chorus, and then the song will end. Okay, so uh, that's empty words, I hope you liked it. Uh, have fun with that. See you.